All right, we're continuing CTGP today, and you know what? Let's be our boy, Baby Luigi. And we're gonna play in the Mini Beast, one of my favorite vehicles. And yes, I do still like the carts in this game, even if a lot of them are not super op optimal, but the Mini Beast has a good mix of speed and turning, so that's what we're gonna go with today. All right, it looks like today we're on the question mark block cup. We've got Color Wonderland N64 Luigi Raceway, Volcanic Valley, and Sahara Hideout. All right, three new ones, and then a very boring <laughs> intro track. Sounds like a plan. I can't wait to see what lies in store. Color Wonderland, oh my. Well, it certainly is living up to the name. Okay, oh, it's like a daytime rainbow road? Okay, yeah, there's a lot of custom rainbow road-like tracks out here, so. Let's see how this one goes. I like the background for this. Looks very nice. Okay, gotta watch out for Donkey Kong, who's kind of trying to ram us off the road. All right. Okay. This course is kind of nuts, and it's hard to tell which way you need to go at certain parts. But I'm holding my own. I'm just being very careful of which areas I do uh, tricks off of. I like the waterfall effect, that's pretty cool. I don't like that turn at all. But all in all, not too bad. Let's see if lap uh, two fares a bit better. Oh boy, another fake power up. Wow, that red shell took ages to hit me. I was thinking that it was gonna get hit by the blue shell and blow up, but it apparently stopped to wait for us. Oh my. <laughs> well, Baby Mario now has a big lead because of that shell debacle. Oh wait, but I can see him. Alright, this is but we are not doing a trick off of that. What happened to baby Mario? Wait, what the heck happened to him? Did he fall off? I didn't think you could fall off at that part. All right, this is an interesting take on Rainbow Road. Oh, sweet. Triple bananas in first, yes please. That's not good. been a severe lack of mushrooms, and I don't dare take those shortcuts if I don't have mushrooms. I like the overall design of this course. There's just a couple of areas where it's like, ah, uh, oh, that was a nice bounce. There's a couple of areas where it's not apparently clear how soon you have to turn or which direction you you have to turn. But all in all, I'd say that I had a lot of fun with that track. I'd give it a pass. I really like the details in the background. Like most of the time the rainbow roads are just like, oh, let's make it at the night sky and that's fine. But this one really, I like the daytime feel and I like all the colored blocks that you interact with. That, that was a fun track. Good job, developer. All right, now we've got the familiar track, N64 Luigi Raceway. It's basically just a, uh, a paperclip shape, almost. Straight line, then it curves in, then it curves out back to the start again. So, very, very simple track. I imagine we won't be running into any real troubles here. I also imagine there aren't any real shortcuts here.
That's the problem with Mario Kart uh, intro tracks. Because they exist primarily just to get you used to the controls and the physics of the game, it means that they're not ever really interesting. So most of the time, uh, they're kind of boring to play on. Great for beginners, again, to learn the game. But not great to compete on once you've mastered all the uh, controls. Rats. Really? Okay, they have a couple of boost panels added to pick it up a little bit. And they still have the power up at the balloon. I'm not sure if you're able to grab that, or if so, is it still always going to be a blue shell? Like it was in the N64 game. I kind of hope it's not. Because blue shells were way better balanced in the N64 game compared to, like, every other Mario Kart. Also a lot rarer. Otherwise, yep, just a very simple circuit track. Really not much to say here. Oh man, we got quite a breakaway. And because of the boost panels, catching up when the first place has a breakaway is going to be a little trickier. They also added in the piranha plants. And the Goombas. So they did a good job of just adding a couple little things on this track to make it a bit more exciting. That was dumb. I missed the boost panel there. All in all, I'd say this is a good adaptation. Keeps the overall theme of the track. Doesn't completely change it to make it unrecognizable, but still adds enough stuff to make it a little bit more interesting to play on. All in all, I really don't think you could do a better job adapting this course. Great job! That's an easy victory for Baby Ouija! Yeah. Very fun. I enjoy that. I enjoy that more than I normally do. Again, because of the extra stuff added in. That was that was a good job. Alright, now we've got... <laughs> what was this next one? Volcanic Valley. Ooh! Like the look of it so hard. That is a wide track. That is a track built for 12 players. And it looks like it's just a Grumble Volcano designed course with a giant bridge as the track. All right, this could be good. I like the asphalt texture. Oh, this is a giant one lap course. Interesting. Okay, all right, I'm down. Yeah, big surprise, we get the grumble music. Okay! I did not think that was the direction the track was going to go in. And now we're going in the lava, but this lava for some reason isn't actually dangerous. Not a fan of that. If you're going to make us go through the lava, you can make it all pass through or none of it. Just at least make it consistent. That was cool. We got to ride the rails there just like they did in the Great Depression. Finally, we get a power-up. A mushroom. This far, this seems like a pretty fun course. Darn you, Mario. I was gonna grab that. Alright, who's that in first place? Is that Bowser? That looks like Bowser. Alright, we got a mushroom. That could be very nice. If we can hold on to this and get into first, we can use this to avoid blue shells. Or if we see a really... Oh, nope, never mind. We had to use that before the power block took it away. Wow! Okay, that was a big spiral staircase. Was not expecting that. That was cool. 
Oh my gosh, no! Oh, missed the power-ups there. Hi, Mr. Fwomp. Oh, thank you for not making me come to a screeching halt. Ah, uh, and once again, the pow block does nothing. I guess pow block forced me to use my mushroom earlier than I wanted. Okay, wow, this is a giant course. That's to be expected with a, for a one-lapper. I swear I didn't get hit by anything there, but all right. Oh, what? But I wasn't touching it. <laughs> well, top four are all in a straight line, real close to each other. Oh my gosh. I don't like doing these blind jumps into who no Oh, really? A blooper? Hi, Yoshi DK. Oh, thank goodness I was able to pass them at the end. Maybe that blooper came in clutch after all. I think that was a pretty cool course. It, I like the scale of it. I like that it was one lap. I don't like how there were a lot of blind jumps and sometimes the track was like oriented in a way that if you went straight off, you wouldn't land on the track. That's never a good thing. Otherwise though, that was a pretty fun track. So I'll still give it a pass. All right, Sahara Hideout, but here's hoping that the last track is also good. If so, we've got a pretty solid cup. This is a nice, okay, we got a desert slash lava slash jungle themed course, maybe? There was definitely quite a bit of foliage, so. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. Oh my gosh, it's a lava ceiling. And it's a two lap course, all right. Why is this the Grumble Volcano music again? Someone got a bullet bill immediately? All right. If it's a desert course, I was expecting it to be Dry Dry Ruins or Desert Hills, not Grumble Volcano. I guess it is a lava ceiling, but still. Could have been cool to have like a dark pyramid theme on it. I like how we got Bowser and Dry Bowser in the top spots. Ooh. Interesting. So didn't we like go above the lava this time? And now, oh, now we're in this like lava pyramid. Waluigi. Oh, really? Really, Red Shell? Waluigi was enormous and directly in front of us. And you pull that shenanigan. All right. This is a pretty crazy course. How the heck did Waluigi hit all those boosters? You are in the flame flyer. Good handling, but bad, uh... Or good drifting, but bad handling. Oh my gosh! That was way too close. Alright. This track's pretty fun! Oh, and I have double red shells in first place. <laughs> yeah, I actually really like this track. Oh no, my double red shells. I wanted you so bad. There are times where it can be hard to tell which direction you're supposed to go. Like, there's the flomp in the sands there. I was half expecting that to be, like, the way you needed to go. But that's actually not. Otherwise, I really like the theming of this course. I like the desert mixed with the lava. That's actually a really cool touch. And not one you really see. Oh no, Pow Block didn't do anything again. This is definitely a cup that I was glad I was in the mini beast for because the excellent drifting really helps out as does its high top speed that 
That part of the road is honestly kind of hard to land on, even though I landed on it twice. Oh my gosh, how did a Waluigi and I get that big of a breakaway? And how was Waluigi able to keep up with me that quickly? All right, I won the perfect 60 points. The second place only had 34. So there was a lot of back and forth with the CPUs of who was getting the top spots. All right, sweet. Is that gonna be at least a one star uh, rating? I did fall off once or twice, so maybe not. That was a really fun cup though. I enjoyed all of the levels in that cup. One star, yee! All right, yeah, question mark block cup. Had some great raises in it. Really enjoyed all of that. I hope the next cup is just as good. All right, I think it's time to be our man Yoshi again. We haven't been Yoshi in a while. And I'm gonna race on one of my favorites, the Dolphin Dasher. Real fun vehicle. And now we're on the Cloud Flower Cup. This is an interesting power-up. We have Jungle Glade, Bowser's Termination Station, Shy Guy's Market, and Festival Town. Shy Guy's Market, I'm pretty sure, is Shy Guy's Bazaar, which is my favorite Mario Kart 7 course. And I think I've played on Bowser's Termination Station before, and it's a pretty fun track, if memory serves. So, alright, I'm hyped. Also, Bowser's Termination Station is one of the best names I've heard of. Alright, we start off with Jungle Glade. This is an original track. Alright, I like the waterfalls. I like the rapids. I like where this is going. We're off to a pretty cool start. Let's hope the whole track is this good. Oh! Oh, interesting. So there's definitely a DK cannon involved in this somewhere. I also have to get used to bike controls again. Especially inside drift bikes. Oh my gosh. Not expecting to get the draft boost as well. Catch me if you can, suckers! Alright, yeah, I'm glad I was in an inside drift bike for that part. Oh, whoops. Meant to hold that behind me. Woo! Okay! This is a pretty fun track. There's that one nasty turn on the uh, hill that I'm not a fan of. I was able to make it, but only because I was in a heavy inside drifting vehicle. Again, I'm not a fan of tracks that require you to make turns that basically need inside drifting for. I've said it before and I'll, I'll say it again. Every track should be tested in the jet setter. If you can do the track just fine in the jet setter, then you should be A-OK. -okay. Okay, that's pretty deep off-road. Hey, that's not very nice. A red shell in first place. All right, pinch me, I'm dreaming. <laughs> oh no, though, I like this track. Nice, simple, a bit smaller scale than the last couple we did, which I appreciate that. Oh, my double red shells. That's okay. Maybe we'll get triple bananas. No! Come on! I'm not allowed to have anything nice. Every time I get a good power- oh, there we go. Every time I get a good power up, some circumstance takes it away from me. Also, they are right behind me now, thanks to that blue shell. stay on the sand. Well, there we go. See? That's okay. Everybody else behind me also lost their stuff, so it's a happy ending. Yoshi for the win! Me here. There we go. Yoshi with the Dolphin Dasher. One of the best off-road combos ever. Sweet! Yeah! Really fun course. Very much enjoyed that one. Fantastic job. A tier track. Just just make that one turn a little more forgiving and we we'd be we'd be good. Bowser's Termination Station, here we go. 
Yep, I've been on this one. Oh, this is a grand course. It's got everything. I think it's a two-lapper because it's pretty big. So you've got like Rainbow Road parts, you've got like <laughs> Lava Canyons, and a mix of Bowser's Castle in there as well. Well, have some Mario Galaxy themed courses. Yep, two laps. Over Mario. If you have a mushroom, you can go down the middle there. And we get the GBA Bowser Castle music too! Ride the red carpet to the Mario's Observatory. Now we have the Bowser's Castle part with all the fireballs. Oh, this is awesome. Cannon that takes us now to the Outer Space Rainbow Road portion. It doesn't stick with any one theme for too long. It always changes it up enough to make you uh, stay interested and invested in the track. Which is really cool. It's also challenging, but fair. With some cool shortcuts along the way if, you're, uh, if you have the mushrooms for it. Bouncy? Bowser cart. Yeah, I really like Bowser's Termination Station though. Fantastic course. And an S tier name. All in all, phenomenal track. Really enjoy it, highly recommend. It is a challenging track, though. It, you've got some pretty tight turns here. Oh, I thought I timed that right. Might be just... Oh, I'm sorry, it's not Mario's Observatory. It's Kamek's Comet Observatory. Waluigi? You weren't even on the mini-map. Everybody cheats. Oh! Oh, this is a really fun track, though. Yeah, if you've got mushrooms, you can, like, take a bunch of shortcuts over here on the Rainbow Road aspect. I also like the unique Rainbow Road texture, where it's, like, made out of rock with rainbows being projected on it. Fits Bowser's Castle, and it makes it stand out from the other Rainbow Roads. Really nice job. All in all, definitely worthy of being a Bowser uh, track. All right. Oh, and it looks like Bowser won second on his termination station. Waluigi brought up the rear. Uh-oh. Well, that's what you get, Waluigi. I swear you weren't on the minimap. All right, okay, next it should be Shy Guy's Market, which I'm pretty sure is Shy Guy's Bazaar. Yep, that's Shy Guy's Bazaar. Shy Guy's Bazaar is such a fun track. It, it's like, if you ever wanted to race for Agrabah in Aladdin, this is your opportunity to do it. And man, oh man, is this a good track. <laughs> I really like it. I'm a huge fan of Aladdin. And it, this is just a very unique and well-made track. In other words, why didn't we get this one in uh, Super Mario? Super nah. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like instead of Toad Circuit, we could have gotten this one. There's that Desert Hills music. There we 
go. Get launched back here. And the Arabian Nights continue. Waluigi's back in second again. Despite him getting, like, uh, sixth place twice in a row or something. Like, he's, he's not giving up that easily. Well, yes, you can race on top of the stands. If you want to stand out! Like that one goofy movie song tells you to do. Here we go! Yoink! Yeah, it really feels like Agrabah. It's so great. <laughs> and I like the shape of the track. Come on! Enough of the blue shells, man. Fake power up, oh boy. Still better than coins though. Where did Waluigi go? Is he like right behind me? Oh wow, what the heck happened to Waluigi? Super passageway. If you're in the know. Apparently I bounced over the entire boost pad. That's a new one on me. Alright then. Wow, look at our breakaway. And that was after we got hit by two blue shells. Oh boy! Like, what happened to Waluigi? It's like he's hard-coded to place badly, even though he, like, races well. Alright, well, we get another victory, so it's time for the last course. What will it be? It was something Blossom, I think. What was it again? Like, oh, Festival Town, never mind. Okay, so this could be, like, another Delfino Square slash Woohoo Town level. All right, we've got some basic buildings, and you got the racetrack going through it. All right, all right. It looks a little simple in terms of design, but that's perfectly fine. It all depends on what it races like. That's a lot of 90 degree turns. No surprise it's using the Delfino Square music. Oh my gosh, three different ways to go. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws. That was not the fastest route for Santa Claus. <laughs> Mario? I know it's Mario Kart, but wow! He just knew which way we were gonna go. Oh, Luigi. Man. They are cutthroat up here. Hey, Mario! Ow! Didn't realize the piranha was there until it was too late. Why? What does Waluigi do? Okay. I swear Waluigi doesn't race badly, but then just, like, the game's like, Oh, wait, Waluigi's doing too well. We should teleport him backwards. Like, he is in dead last. Like, what the heck happened to him? Was he forced into a wall, like, multiple times? Like, that is an embarrassingly bad position for Waluigi. Alright, well that way is just the fastest and also the most boring. This track is pretty fun, but I gotta say there's a distinctive lack of festivals here in Festival Town. Like, we could have some, like, I don't know, Piantas cheering. Some confetti. It's also hard for me to tell how many of these uh, turns would be a little unfair if you weren't in Inside Drift. Yes, triple bananas! And we got a nice lead over the others. Alright, I can take the long way then. Oh, interesting. There was like a couple different ways you could cut in at that part. All of those are still slower than going the inside route, but hey. Oh, I didn't get any airtime like I was expecting to. That's okay. We still have a massive breakaway. Look at Luigi's so far behind. 
Waluigi caught back up. Good for you, Waluigi. You must have gotten like 18 bullet bills. Granted, he's still... Oh, now Wario's the one who's stuck. Oh, I see. You can go up on the roof there. Wait, but that wouldn't be a shortcut, would it? I don't think so. All right. You know what? That was a fun track to race through. Again, I think you could add a couple more decorations to make it feel like there's a festival occurring in the town. But otherwise, I like that racetrack. That was a fun time. Man, there wasn't a single bad level in that entire bunch of eight. That is what I call a successful video and a great way to end the day off. And so, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this installment of CTGP. I know I did. We got two stars, and we had eight great tracks. I really enjoyed all of those. If only all of them could be around that quality, if at the lowest. So, well, I guess we'll be playing the next two circuits next time. Next time. So thanks for watching. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless everyone.